Uh, I had a, a conference call with the Council of Forest Industries uh, a few weeks back. Uh, we've been working very diligently, uh, trying to be as cooperative as we can be with an industry, quite frankly, that is in transition. It has been for a number of years, but since we were sworn in in uh, 2017, we've seen uh, uh, basically the end of the beetle kill wood, which means that the fiber basket is smaller than it's ever been. The former government was well aware of this. Uh, there were numerous reports done over a decade uh, projecting that there was going to be a reduction in capacity within the sector, meaning fewer mills, meaning fewer jobs. I reminded uh, the forest companies that uh, by and large the forests that they work in are, are not theirs, uh, they're public forests. They have tenure arrangements, contracts with the people of British Columbia to harvest that wood and those contracts historically have meant that there be a benefit to communities. And the Mackenzie issue is particularly pronounced because there are a number of companies that operate there, Conifex, Canfor, Paper Excellence and others, all within uh, small uh, Mackenzie. And they all have a responsibility to make sure that the forest work that they do uh, not just benefits their shareholders, but benefits the communities where they operate. Uh, we put in place a timber supply table in in uh, Mackenzie to bring all of the players together, indigenous peoples, community leaders, uh, labor leaders, uh, industry leaders at the highest level to work these issues through. Uh, we haven't found success, success yet, but I'm going to continue to work on that. And I wanted to make it clear to industry that I very much value their historic contribution to the economy and the well-being of British Columbians, but they have an obligation to the future as well. And together, we can get there. Separately, we can't. Do you have a follow-up, Vaughn? Vaughn? Yes, please. Um, I see at about the same time that Canfor has invested in three sawmills in Sweden, purchased them outright. Um, do you think that's a comment on their part on what British Columbia is like as an investment community these days? I think that's a, a simplistic uh, response to a complex issue. We have, uh, we're in the midst of yet another uh, battle with the United States with respect to uh, duties on our softwood lumber products. This is a regular occurrence, Vaughn. You've written about this, the great uh, war between Canada and the United States at least a dozen times over your career at different points. Uh, so this is not new, uh, but it's different this time because uh, the industry has contracted so much in British Columbia. The, the beetle wood is a part of that. Uh, reduced fiber is another part of that. Uh, consolidation in the industry is another part of that. And uh, Canfor will make business decisions in the interest of their shareholders. I respect that. And they have made significant investments in the United States, uh, in Sweden, and in other parts of the world. And that is absolutely their right. But if they're wanting to access public timber in British Columbia, they need to ensure that they're meeting the requirements of uh, participation in our economy here. And I have a very good working relationship uh, with the leadership at Canfor. I have a good working relationship with, with Kofi. But if we can't speak candidly to each other about challenging times, uh, then we're just uh, you know, dancing around the maypole. I'm not prepared to do that. Uh, I didn't uh, seek public office to uh, pacify people. I, I sought public office to make positive change in people's lives. And I, and I know that we can do that if we uh, all acknowledge that the only way that we can benefit from the bounty in British Columbia is if we have investment. The only way investment will happen is if we have a skilled workforce. And the only way any of that will happen is if we have an acknowledgement and a recognition that Indigenous people have rights and title on land in British Columbia. That's an undisputable fact based on successive court rulings and as well as the, the obviousness of a nose in the front of your face. So all of us working together on this is the way forward. I am not at all uh, disappointed. I am in fact optimistic about our future. Uh, mass timber is an area that the industry said they wanted to pursue. Uh, I believe that more value and less volume is the only way the industry will uh, continue to thrive in British Columbia and I think the vast majority of companies understand that and we're going to work towards that in the months ahead.